हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास दिस मॉड्यूल इज एम्ड एट द कॉमन एरर्स विच वी मेक वाइल राइटिंग और स्पीकिंग इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज लेट इज डिस्कस सम ऑफ द कॉमन एरर्स सी एंड लुक वी ऑफन गेट कन्फ्यूज विद दीज टू वर्ड्स लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड दैम to see is to notice something with our eyes it is something we do naturally without really thinking and without making any effort for example i see beautiful roses in my garden or we can ask this question did you see my handbag to look is to direct your attention towards something When we look at something we concentrate our eyes on it for example look at this painting isn't it beautiful he looked at his watch and told me the time or have a look at these examples this sentence is used many times in our modules because we want to draw or direct your attention towards the given examples let us understand the difference with one more example please repeat the correct sentence after me don't say he was seeing out of the window this is incorrect say he was looking out of the window hear and listen we use hear for sounds that come into our ears it happens as a natural process but when we listen to something we pay attention and try to understand it listening is something we do consciously and intentionally for example we say please listen to the instructions we don't say please hear to the instructions have a look at another example we don't say i was hearing to her sweet song what do we say i was listening to her sweet song let us see another example my mother listens to the radio every morning this is a correct sentence we don't say my mother hears to the radio every morning now please repeat the correct sentences after me please listen to the instructions i was listening to her sweet song My mother listens to the radio every morning. Let us understand the difference between these two words. Remember and remind. To remember is to have in mind. And to remind is to make another person remember something for example don't say please remember me to give it back say please remind me to give it back don't say my friend remembered me to complete my assignment on time this is incorrect what should you say My friend reminded me to complete my assignment on time. It is incorrect to say I can't remind her exact words. What is the correct sentence? I can't remember her exact words. 
Please repeat the correct sentences after me. Please remind me to give it back. My friend reminded me to complete my assignment on time. I can't remember her exact words. Accept and agree. Accept means to take what is offered. And agree means to do what one is asked to do. Now let us see the usage of these two words in sentences. So it would be wrong if we say the teacher accepted to go with us. What should you say? The teacher agreed to go with us. We say I accepted his invitation. We don't say I agreed his invitation. Now please repeat the correct sentences after me. The teacher agreed to go with us. I accepted his invitation. Take, forget or receive. To take means to obtain something intentionally. Like we can say I took a book from the library. Whereas to get or to receive means to obtain something which is offered. Such as a gift, a letter, money or marks in the examination. So don't say he took high marks in English. Say he received high marks in English or he got high marks in English. Now let us understand the difference between take and buy. We say I went to the bakery to buy bread. We don't say I went to the bakery to take bread. So please note that take should not be used in the sense of buy. So what do we say? Please repeat after me. I went to the bakery to buy bread. Take out for take off. The opposite of put on is take off. Put on means to wear something. And the opposite of put on is take off and not take out. So don't say he took out his hat and overcoat. What should you say? Please repeat after me. He took off his hat and overcoat. In this module, we learned that by using correct words at the correct places, we can avoid making errors. In the next module, we shall deal with some more common errors. Thank you.